I'm canceling my Cursor Pro subscription which cost me only $20 per month and I have already subscribed to this new AI code editor that cost me $100 per month. First let's just cancel our Cursor subscription. You can see right now I have like total 3 subscriptions. So this is my currently active subscription that cost me $20 per month. Then I have another subscription which cost me $40 per month because I purchased two cursor plans. The reason of having three cursor subscriptions was just my usage. But last month I cancelled this $40 plan and you can see it actually cancels on 11th of June which is like in a couple of days. And right now I'm going to cancel this subscription as well which is going to renew on 19th of June. But why I am doing that and why I am moving all of my projects everything to this new AI code editor that cost me $100 per month. So this new AI code editor is Augment Code and yeah this video is not sponsored by Augment Code. I am not affiliated with them in any capacity but yeah if they are watching but yeah, if they are watching, you guys have done an amazing job. For the last one year, I have been using Cursor for all of my projects and I never thought that I'll be switching to a new AI code editor. But just like a couple of weeks ago when I spent like all of my Cursor credits in like first few days of my subscription and even you can see I have enabled my usage based spending as well. But I was just like looking for a better alternative. So I just discovered on VS Code, there was an extension, it's called Augment Code. So I just discovered about Augment Code, I installed it and I started using it in one of my projects. and just just after a couple of prompts I realized something different and the different thing was augment code understands my project better whatever I ask it to do because that project was kind of like a very complex project it was a mobile app I cannot share it here but it was a very complex project so I had to like submit a new update on Google Play Store so I just explained everything in prompt the way I do in cursor and usually I expect that cursor will actually come up with a plan and then it will actually create all those different steps and then I'll actually ask you to start implementing and then we'll actually just go by step by step first we'll do a small chunk of that task then we'll do second chunk then we'll do the third chunk then we'll do the fourth chunk because if I ask cursor to like implement all of those tasks all at once it will actually make mistakes and we know that cursor starts hallucinating as soon as the project gets complex but in case of augment code the one thing that I actually noticed different as soon as you like open your project inside augment code because previously that project was developed in cursor so as soon as you like open your project inside augment code so first of all it asks you to index your project so I indexed my project and then after that I just gave it a prompt my whole list of features that I want you to implement in my app I just explained all of those and augment code just like implemented all of those features in one prompt and I was like hold on this cannot be true I mean most of the times whenever we open an existing project inside cursor but it does not understand our project we have to like maybe share the requirements document then we ask it to like scan the entire directory and still we notice that cursor hallucinates a lot but in terms of augment code what I felt different was actually its context engine so it actually understands my code in a much better way that just literally in few hours I finished most of my tasks that I had planned for my entire week. Let me just show you some of the examples some of the projects that I have like already published but those projects are still in alpha but I can just like share some details about those projects. So these are some of my chrome extensions that I have like published recently. So this particular extension I published it on 21st of April. So originally this chrome extension was very simple like it just like used to create transcript of your YouTube videos and I just like published its initial alpha version only but later on in this like new update I created authentication system I created billing system I created like new AI features as well so all of these features I had in my mind that it would take like maybe two to three days to like finish like authentication system integrating stripe billing because this is a chrome extension this authentication does not work the way actually we do in a regular web application or in a regular mobile application so the process is very different and I had not implemented that before so this was the first time I was actually building an authentication system in a chrome application so that's why I was expecting that in cursor like usually it could take me like two to three days to build an authentication system a complete billing system with stripe integration and then other AI functions but in here you can see this is my same project I imported that project inside augment code at I think on May 30th at 6 17 p.m. and then I like and then I just like started wipe coding and after like literally after like three to four hours you can see right now when is the last prompt so that was at 10 pm that means it took me literally three and a half hours to implement all of the features that i wanted and it just like did such an amazing job that i like integrated way more features into in my plugin now similarly there are a lot of other examples i cannot share all of the examples with you because there are a lot of my secret projects are going on but the main point is now with augment code my productivity has increased a lot i'm able to work on more and more projects because augment code just understands my project perfectly and it does exactly what i want this 
particular example that I gave you was just like a simple Chrome extension, but I have like way more complex projects that were developed in a completely different environment. But when I imported that into augment code, I index that code base, then it actually understands all of my project properly. And then just from the first prompt, it can actually start implementing your new features, your new like changings. Now cursor is amazing as well. So far, like for last one year, I have been using cursor. I did not switch to windsurf or like tray or any other AI code editor. I was using cursor for all of my projects, but the change that I realized after started using augment code was it just does its job. I mean, whatever I want it to do, it just like does it because it understands my code base better. It, it makes less error. It has a bigger context engine and it is just really good in dealing with complex projects. So initially I started using the free trial of augment code, which allows you to like use it for free for 14 days. But within just like first four to five days, I consumed all of my credits on augment code because I was just like enjoying it so much. I was able to like submit new updates on all of my projects. So it was just like working flawlessly for me. And meanwhile, cursor also released the cursor 1.0 update as well and i was like okay maybe there's something new in cursor maybe they have like improved the context engine maybe not is better for complex projects but when i saw like in cursor 1.0 updates and you can see like cursor has introduced like some really useful features including the code review feature including the memories feature but still none of that actually enhanced its capability to deal with the complex projects and same is the case with windsurf and in fact tray is not even in race so i got so addicted to augment code that i was like i'm just like switching to augment code now again this is not a sponsorship video i'm not promoting augment code to you i'm just like sharing my experience because it's like i spent hundred dollars on augment code so that's why i'm just like trying to justify it anyways one thing that i have left unfinished is unsubscribing to cursor so let's just go back to cursor and unsubscribe it officially so here i am i'm going to cancel my subscription i'm going to click on that and cancel subscription it is going to renew on 19th of june but i'm not using cursor anymore so i found an alternative yeah that's I'll just write it here. Augment code. Submit. That's it. My cursor subscription is cancelled. And this one I already cancelled. And in fact, if you see my cursor usage in last like couple of weeks. So I only used it on 6th of June. And that too, I think for like 10 minutes maybe. And other than that, I have, I have not used cursor like after I explored augment code. And meanwhile, on augment code, I consumed all of my credits on free trial. And now after finally subscribing to the pro plan, I have now like 1500 credits available. So there is a cheaper plan as well which is like $50 per month. So they offer $50 per month plan as well that allows you only 600 credits. And I knew that I'm gonna like consume that in just like maybe a week. So that's why I subscribe to this $100. $250 will be just too much for me. So I think $100 plan is good and it will give me 1500 credits and which is like more than enough for me. So yeah, this was it about today's video. I just wanted to share my personal experience that I'm upgrading from cursor to a new tool. But still one thing that always matters is not the tool that you're using but the man who is using the tool the man behind the machine is what matters so even if you are using like something like tray which is like three dollars per month you can still create something amazing if man behind tool understands what he is making so this was it about today's video just let me know in comment section what you think about this my new transition and if you have any thoughts please let me know in comment section i see you next video Bye.